Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake 2. I'm Burning Dog Face. And, uh... Well, last time we checked Norman's room here and found that the point of interest was a riddle book and a book of otter-themed puns. I feel like I would have trouble coming up with ten of those, much less, uh... You know, a whole book of them. I mean, how the hell can... It, what, what was the proper term for a, an otter? It was like a mustelid, wasn't it? I don't know. You can't even make a pun out of that. Uh, I wanted to check out that door at the end of the hallway. How very dramatic of me. Because it's still locked, according to the map. Oh. Right. The one with the swirl on it. Well, now that's very interesting. It has the same lock as every other room in the building, but it doesn't give me the option to use the key fob. Oh. That's, uh... That's how Saga's supposed to get into the writer's room, isn't it? God damn it. It's not giving me the option, because it would destroy the story if I walked in too soon. Oh, boy. Shout out to Justin Jones. He says, Whenever you say something like, My organs! I always find myself chuckling a bit. The first time I heard you say it was way back when, during your Lords of Shadow Let's Play, and I nearly died laughing, not because of what you said, but how you said it. And thank you for that. appreciate that. I don't even remember what I got that from. It's my bones and organs! About face, that was the wrong way. Hang on, there was a thing I wanted to look at here somewhere. Yes, directly in front of me there is a trophy room I don't remember seeing. Well, that would explain it. I'm in the very clearly labeled room on the map, but there isn't a single trophy in here. It's a library. There's a shitload of books on the shelves. Nice reading nook here. No trophies at all. Unless trophy room is a different thing than what I assumed? I think this is the window where uh, Cynthia jump scared us, incidentally. Which is really funny, because it is right next to this, the Old Gods of Asgard Museum. I think they had this, like, Nessie head sticking out of the stage in the first game, and you could make it shoot flames to light up the Taken. Which was as good as burning them, funnily enough. Yeah, yeah, I do believe that. I've read that one. I like that they put a bottle of the moonshine in there, just for fun. Oh, there's the other one. Nah, it doesn't let me look at the Anderson moonshine, though. Fair enough. Okay. Uh... Well, then. I guess we'll head back out into the wilderness. That'd probably be a good idea to actually check the wellness center. When the map kept coming up, I wasn't actually looking to see if there was anything there. Oh yeah, container right there in the examination rooms. Uh, and some flares I didn't pick up over here. That's about it. Oh, and over here, actually. Oh, that's right, the corridor was filled with junk, wasn't it? Where the fuck am I? Yes, up here.
computer desk is circled. Was that just a plot objective? If they could fix some of the uh, the bugs that are getting in the way of the of the game, you know, like the optional objectives and uh, the sticky icons and such, I feel like the game would be uh, absolutely excellent. Like the annoying rough edges I'm encountering might not even be there in the future. room yeah what oh it's behind me ha huh. what the fuck puts painkillers and bullets in a filing cabinet along with what appear to be stethoscopes what was that submarine ass sound effect just there one ping only. Okay, now the toilet's making weird noises. I'm just gonna get the fuck out of this room. I would ask why there's even a toilet in the examination room, is that this place is directly attached to an old folks' home, and as I understand it, when you get old, your bladder shrinks to the size of a walnut. going to be all clever and save the game and then you know, with a quick save and then if there was nothing good over here I'd just manually load all the way back over there but then there was good stuff around so that's funny why is the crossbow on my back I left off with a rifle on my back Oh yes, this was uh, this room. This was the room where I fought the second diver and confirmed that it wasn't just Gale. Oh dear, the timer. I forgot to start the timer. Uh, there. Sorry. Shout out to Elthwar, who says, I do like how the cult's notes inside their stashes are more of them talking to each other rather than orders or something serious. It shows off a bit more of how weird they can be. And in here, they need to be at least a little strange. You know, I found myself wondering all these crazy thoughts the other day. What if we're still wrong? What if we're still wrong about which one is Alan and which one is Scratch? I mean, I will admit it. That was mostly because if the Prophecy of Doom isn't about Alan, it could be about Scratch. He still writes. And apparently has done writing inside the writer's room. Since that's where uh, Alan keeps finding the, uh, the manuscripts at the end of his loops. What the fuck am I doing? Sorry, I just got lost in thought and realized I've just been wandering. Okay, there's some flares in this direction. It's not all a waste of time. Do I even have room? Yeah. I don't see any flares. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, wow, it's right at the bottom of the locker, tucked against the front edge. I had to be standing right against it, too. Oh, the back door is right here. I could have just done that. Fuck. I really like the, 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 the I think, what is it called? Filters. Filters. That the, the just change the lighting and change the mood of each area. Like, I look out there right now, and the filter over the entire world is uh, all gray and stark. I step outside, and suddenly everything turns orange, like it's uh, afternoon sunlight. It's a uh, sunset, even. I look in there, and everything is dark and vague, like it's under sunset light. Until I walk back in, and it all turns blue again. Blue and gray. That is a green overhead light. What? 
thought the yellow ones were weird enough. Oh, just the door. That was what the A prompt was. Now, if this corridor here wasn't filled with garbage, I could just walk over there. Unfortunately, it is filled with garbage. So we're going to have to go... Up... No, not even through there. Jeez. Up... Through the security room and around the back. Okay. Well, that didn't sound good. That was a cable straining or something. No, 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 no. Not that room. Rehab room. That was the room that, uh... Oh, that's right. He was influencing Tor. That's why there's holes in the wall over here. Went in entirely the wrong direction. Oh, well. Let's just say it's a very good thing I'm not a courier, professionally. Well, I can go through here, I guess. I can find my ass with both hands, but I'm not sure I could find my way out of a paper bag without a map. That's the room I'm supposed to avoid. Okay, so I just dug in here. And I run around to here. No, it was for it. No, it's the entrance. God damn it. Where is the turn? Uh fucking hell. Oh, the security room was just here. I forgot. God, I thought this was three uh, examination rooms in a row with no back entrances. Blum's workroom, private. I bet that originally just said workroom or something. Did I pet this deer? Saga, why did you get your gun out? I keep seeing these nails on the wall and thinking they're the tiny dots that appear when I'm not looking directly at an A prompt. I'm slightly oh not at slightly outside the map, that's good. I just turl it in here. I think this might have been that room, actually, yeah. Yeah! That one where, uh, Torek gave me the heads up. I'm not doing anything, by the way. She's just deciding to get her gun out and put it away and get it out and put it away. Like, I know I made her get it out earlier when I did this, but, uh... When she doesn't aim, that's not me. It's one of those things there, where if you overthink it, you do it wrong. Where... What the fuck is that? There's a red dot blinking on the wall like it's being projected there. I'm going to shoot it. doesn't seem to show up when I'm focusing. Ah! God damn it. Oh, <laughs> They're just mocking me. Stupid circle! I'll show you. I won't give you the satisfaction. It's gonna take some... Uh, an unrecommended amount of painkillers and get out of here. The Surgeon General suggests you don't do that. Anything else? Oh, actually, yeah! Look at that! A container appeared in that bathroom as I walked away from it. That's really weird. I was just in there. And it was tiny. In fact, I know I've been in there before because I just saw a clip of myself in there.
They finally put something behind the door. I think it's empty. No, no, there is an item there. Uh, rifle ammo. I can't leave that behind. Oh, 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 oh. Almost. God damn it. Gotta get that A prompt. <laughs> Stupid garbage bag. Get me. Gotcha. I think I had a comment on that subject, actually. I found some uh, of those bullets in uh, one of the, uh, the the safe havens with... Sorry, break rooms with uh, the music playing. And uh, Torek00 left a comment, shout out, that says, Rifle ammunition in Ati's room. I'm sorry, you must mean stain remover. For the most stubborn stains. Oh, right, I forgot to do that. Jesus. Um, yes, good. How annoying would it be if we were in a totally different hospital when that door opened? Oh, you're in a Catholic hospital in Poland. Welcome to Our Lady of Perpetual Agony. Spoilers! With a name like that, they're actually Satanists. And not like the cool Satanists who just think you should do things that make you happy and uh, try to be nice to your fellow man. No, like the cartoon Satanists who want to eat your heart and gain your power. I have a vote about, uh, vote. I have a comment about Setter as well, don't I? People love fucking that. No, no, people love... That was so good, though, just... <laughs> I'm amused that both me and the, uh... Oh, jeez, I'm sorry, I don't remember who it was, but... Just, you know, even, you know, the comments thought that saw that miles in advance. I made a joke about it that turned out to be true, and... <laughs> Let's see. Shout out to Roshan, who should be on day 1030 of commenting on my uh, videos. Can I go over there? Along this little path on the cliff? No, there's an invisible wall right here. I can't go any further to the right. You know what I was thinking? It's odd to see a name like Saga Anderson. Where you go from one A sound immediately to a completely different A sound. Saga, and then Ander. I don't know. I, I, you know, I'm a word guy. These things, I notice these things. It just feels weird to go from ah to ah. Ah, as in all for not. And, uh, ah, as in, uh, well, I don't have a useful example right offhand, but... Well, I'm just saying, it would sound weird if you said Saga Anderson. Or... I guess you could say Saga. Or Sag... Yeah, Saga Anderson. In fact, that's what I'd been assuming it was the entire time they were leading up to this game. Because I didn't hear anyone say it out loud. Shout out to Yornick, who says, Eh, Alan's story ending might just mean he gets out. I mean, seriously, writing a story, no matter how awesome, with yourself as being the main character, gets real boring real fast. Besides, he's found a new hero to replace Alex Casey already. Saga Anderson. I'm all for it. Alright, I guess I'll head... I guess I'll take this path back, if for no other reason than th there might be a proximity thing for activating, uh... You know, the, the mayor setter uh, charm. That's the word charm. Where the fuck am I? On the wrong exact side of the facility. I'll just go this way. Hey, wait. Where is Ati? He wasn't in his room. I just suddenly realized. Right, yes. Did Barry not meet Old Gons of Asgard in 2010? Or was that part of what he convinced himself was fake? 
I mean, I can understand that, you know. I'm sorry that it happened, but I do understand. I mean, I don't know. The man fought the fucking Taken. He watched them burn up into nothingness, and he fought them not even alone. He was with Alan and Sarah Breaker. Like, you'd think if nothing else, Sarah would back up the story. I liked the theory that she's been, uh called in by the Oh, look at that! I was right! I immediately see a lunchbox on the map. I liked the theory that she's been called in by the FBC to follow in her father's footsteps. Huh, maybe we'll make her a character in the next control. Oh, good. Oh. Oh, and they're cultists, too. Okay, fuck this. Jesus, he took a rifle round right to the face in, in super shot mode, and, uh... Those deer masks are really nothing to fuck around with! Right in the heart. Where'd the fast one go? Where did the fast one go? That is not the one you want to lose sight of! No, I, I search the woods. Distorted carnival music! Too fast to see it, huh? I missed. But the thing couldn't miss if you got it. Oh, he really hated that shit. Oh, eyes search the woods. How did I dodge and he still hit me? That motherfucker. Shit. Shot. That's what it's called. I can use kill shot mode even while reloading. All right, that sucked. Which one is this? Ah, perfect. I'll just swap that on for a moment, and then I'll do this. Oh. Ooh. Brisk. remember what I was saying before all that happened. I'm Burning Dogface, and I will see you next time on Let's Play Alan Wake 2. When we, uh... Wrong, uh, thing. When we grab the lunchbox just there, and probably spend some, uh, manuscript fragments. Sounds good to me. Till then, stay out of the woods, be nice to your elders, and stay in the light. <laughs>